How does Phase Fusion know which faces to swap and which to not? Let's take a look at the face selector mode. More specifically, for this video, reference. With a basic video that only has one face, you don't have to do anything, but it's a good habit to click on the reference face of the face you want swapped. Now, with a video with multiple faces, you should see the reference face box populate with however many faces you see visible in the preview window. Select the image of the face you would like to swap out. If you have an image in the source box, that face should now be visible in the preview for the face you selected. You can switch between any of the face image references and see the different faces swap in the preview. 90% of the time, this should be all you need to do to swap a single face. If there is a huge change in the face you've chosen over the entire time of the video because of lighting changes or angles, you might get flickering or complete segments of the output that didn't swap. In this case, try increasing the reference face distance a point or two. This will increase the variability of the matching for the chosen reference face. But if you increase it too much, the face swap will expand to multiple faces, faces you didn't want to change. The other problem you could be having is that the face you want to swap isn't even showing up in the reference faces. I'm not going to get too far into the weeds on face detection now, but down below, you can lower the face detector score a point or two to see if that helps. If you have to go any further, you're most likely not going to get any good results from the video. Sometimes the face won't be picked up if it's too close to the camera, so if it takes up too much of the image. If the face is at a harsh angle, or too dark, or too bright, or partially obscured by an object, or partially out of frame, it may just not be possible to pick up the face reference. There are other ways to try and fix these issues, but that's for a completely different video. One last thing. If your subject that you want to swap is not in the first frame, you will have to move the preview frame slider to a frame of the video that the subject is in so that you can then select the correct reference face. This will change it for the entire video. I hope this was useful and helped with understanding what the reference face selector does. Please check out some of my other videos about face fusion and ask any questions you might have in the comments below. Thanks for watching.